Hey guys, it's Hannah. So, I changed my hair just a little bit. Um, this video is basically going to be taking you through the process that it took me to get my hair looking like this. Um, I don't show you how I put in my extensions, but I am wearing my new Bellamy Kylie Jenner hair. Um, I show it in my haul that I'm also going to film today, but I'll probably put this video up first since it is kind of like a big change. But yeah, so um, I'm going to kind of show you guys how I dyed it and how I transitioned it. If you'd like to see a video on my extensions and how I put them in and kind of my thoughts on these particular extensions so far, I'm just absolutely loving them. Like they lay so flat to my head because they're like the Invisiweft ones, but I'm not going to go too far into it because I want to make a full video on these extensions. If you guys are interested in seeing it, please let me know in the down bar below. Um, yeah. So we're just going to get right into the whole dyeing of the hair process. Alright guys, so I am going to keep it real with you right now. This is the last you're going to see of the blonde hair. Kind of bittersweet, but we're just going to roll with it. It is currently 9.37pm. Why I'm choosing to do this now? So, <clears throat> here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to let you guys know, I just got back from the gym, sweat all my makeup off, I look horrible, we got it, still in my gym clothes minus this t-shirt. So just ignore the way that I look. Whew. And I'm going to be doing all of this using this little mirror right here in front of me, so uh, we're just going to pretend like I can see more than I really can. First step, here, first I'll show you guys what I'm going to be using bought a box of vinyl gloves from Target because all my hair stuff is in California so I just didn't want to spend a lot of money I just got whatever because it's just for me not for clients gonna be using a big comb to comb out my hair first thing I'm going to do maybe I should have got all this stuff organized first first thing I'm going to do is mix up a very very warm reddish light brown color it's 6WG mango from shade Redken shades EQ I'll have all the information for the colors that I use down below so what I'm going to do is put these on all the blonde parts first and let that sit for about 20 minutes and then wash it out and dry my hair and put the color on. What's that, what that's going to do is fill in all of the porous gappy parts of my hair from the blonde so that my brown won't turn a green muddy color and fade out really really quickly. We want it to be rich and vibrant and last a long time without having to re-dye it every other day. So that is what I'm going to do currently, and then after I'm done with that, I'm going to dry it all and put the color on. So, let me take this out and I'll be right back. Alright, goodbye to the blonde. I'm a little sad about it because I love my hair when it's all blonde, but it's just too damaging and I got brown extensions, so I have to stick with it now. So, we're just going to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my bowl. I have on my gloves. I'm going to pour a little bit of the Shades EQ color gloss in here and then I'm going to pour the exact same amount of the processing solution that I do this. So equal parts. Probably going to start off with about half the bottle. You can use measuring cups, but since I am a professional cosmetologist, like, I just eyeball things for myself. Can't even see it, it's too dark. Alright, then I'm just gonna take my... This is easier in a shaker bottle, but I don't care, I just do it whatever I have available. You probably shouldn't do this over carpet like I am, but yellow, you know? I'm going to put something to cover my chair. And you can do this however you like. I'm just randomly grabbing pieces. Since I'm only covering the blonde with this step, it's easy because I just kind of grab the ends and go for it. You know, it's not like anything too precise. So we are going to dye the whole head later. Last time I filled my blonde, Kylie did it for me. Shout out to my bestie, I love you. It's a long ass time ago. The 
there ain't no going back now, guys. So I'm going to let that process for about 15-20 minutes and then I'm going to wash it out and dry it and then I will be back. Alright, so we are rinsed and back. It looks a lot darker on camera than it does in real person. This is just my natural hair color. It's like a light medium brown. I just filled in the blonde ends so that everything will go on smoother and stay longer so we're gonna put the dark on and i'm going to soft tan tomorrow because ghost but yeah it actually really looks a lot darker on camera than it really is but my hair looks longer so you know okay so step one complete now what we're going to do is take this i already opened the packaging but it is the matrix color insider um, color in injection in 4NW, so it is a dark brown natural warm tone. So it's a natural color, but it has some warmth in it, so it's not going to pull ashy. And then it comes with the cream oil developer. This has no ammonia, and it like gives a punch of color into your hair, and the oil, it's just a better dye for your hair and makes it look a lot nicer than if you used a harsh dye um yeah so this is also equal parts but it's a cream formulation instead of a liquid like the last one so i'm just going to do exactly what i did with the last one i wish i would have got a lighter bowl so you guys could actually see like how much color i'm putting but you know you live and you learn so i'm just going to squeeze out probably about half the tube and mix it with the equal amount of developer. Again, you're supposed to use a measuring thing with this, but since I'm a hairstylist and I've been doing this for five years, I never really do. And for this, I'm using 20 volume, just what I want to use. Oh, and this one's super thick developer. Usually developer isn't this thick, but the ammonia-free ones, I've noticed like Redken has one called Chromatics, and it's really, really thick too. But yeah. But they're a lot better for your hair because ain't no but I want ammonia in the hand. Then I just mix it. You can use one of those little hair mixing whisks, but I find with these thicker formulas, it's easy to get it nice and mixed. And then for clients, I usually put it all over their roots first and then pull it through their ends. But for the sake of this, I'm probably just going to put it on my whole hair strand. But I am going to um, just do the front on the camera and then go in the bathroom and do the back because I don't want to have like 17 hours of footage. Also, if you guys have a problem with getting hair dye all over your forehead, you can put petroleum jelly, just like Vaseline, right along your hairline, and that will help the color to not stick to your skin. I don't really care, personally, right now, but if you have a problem with that, or you have an event to go to right after you dye your hair, that will help stop that problem. Especially with darker colors or brighter colors like reds and stuff. Alright, so what I like to do is take the comb and split a section after I did the roots. And then I'm going to do the roots on this side. And like I said, usually I would just do all the roots and then go back and pull it through the ends. But for the sake of not being up all night dyeing my dang hair, I'm going to then take the rest of the strand of hair that doesn't have dye on it and pull the dye through. 
You can also take a thin tooth comb and comb the dye through to make sure it gets every strand if you're really worried about saturating all the strands. I've been doing this for so long, I'm not really worried about it. It's not a big deal to me. But I'm just saying, if that is a concern of yours, And if you don't want to use the comb, you can just run it through like this. Works well too. It just doesn't get as precise. Now the box dies you buy at the store usually just come with like a little um, shaker bottle. So it's easier for you to do on your own hair. But the professional stuff you apply this away. And I like it better and it's much better for your hair. So if you can get your hands on some of it, I would. Sometimes you can buy it online. The stores I go to buy it to, you have to have a license. So if you know someone with a license, they can get you some from like Cosmo Prof or Salon Centric are the places that I like to go. I think I got this from Salon Centric today, but I think they have the same kind at both stores. not dyed my hair all one color in god knows how long unless it was like all bleached but that's a little bit different <laughs> I didn't actually just that was like more gradual of a process so interesting to me to actually dye my whole entire head one color <laughs> So I decided I'm only going to do one half of the front half of my head for you because it's going to take way too long for me to show you the whole head and it's all the same exact process. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the rest of my hair and then I will be back. Alright, now that we are looking sexy, I'm going to let this process for 30 to 35 minutes. I'm going to do an Olaplex treatment on it after I rinse the color out. So I will either let you guys see it tonight or tomorrow and you already saw it in the intro but yeah hey guys I'm not really going to show you my face because I have self tanner all over it but this is the color that my hair turned out and it doesn't quite match the extensions exactly so I'm going to just do one more round of color and then I will get back to you Alright guys, so that second dyeing of my real hair blended in with the extensions perfectly. I'm glad I decided to go ahead and dye it again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be self tanning more to get rid of some of this paleness that looks more evident with the dark hair. I just really needed a change. I hope you guys like it. I hope you liked this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about hair dye or anything to do with that please leave them in the down bar below i'd love to try to help people out as much as i can over the internet um i am really happy with the way my hair feels and looks on its own without the extensions too it feels really healthy and looks really shiny so yeah i'm just gonna keep this outro and the intro both pretty short because i know that there's a lot of footage of me actually dyeing my hair so if you guys want to see more hair tutorials like how to curl how to blend your extensions how to curl hair now i can do a whole bunch of different stuff now that i actually have something to work with yeah so thank you guys so much for watching bye like that reminds me of rainbow sherbert so that is what this video is going to be called so I have like a really pretty like